Hey, what's good viewer? This is Spanky. What lies before me is all the parts to the Build-A-Figure Hope Buster. And I've been reviewing all the figures. They're kind of just sitting over here. Yeah! So, I finally got together. I think it's really cool that Marvel Legends does this. This is just a really great idea that Toy Biz started and Hasbro is continuing. It's just like, hey, you get all these figures and then, oh cool, you get to build this big massive figure. So that's really cool. So now I got a big Hulk Buster, and uh, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the biggest build a figure Hasbro's come out with. Uh, Toy Biz used to do huge figures like this all the freaking time. I'm pretty sure this is the first really massive Hasbro they've come out with. So I guess I'll just put this together and talk your ears off. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. You had to put these on specific legs. I think they uh, made the joints different sizes because I tried to put this on that wrong side and it wouldn't go. So that's actually pretty neat that they did that. Smart. So I got the both legs on. So yeah, this is huge. Let's put it next to the war machine here. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, his legs are about five inches tall already. And then we'll look up a little bit. And it looks like these two pieces. I forgot who they came with. Which side goes where? Okay, this has to go up top. Just trying to figure out which side goes on top here. Okay, make it that easy. You just slide that like that. Kind of has a little groove cut out there. That made that a hundred times easier. Match up the holes. And then jam it in. Jeez, that's a stiff joint. Hopefully I don't break it. Is it supposed to turn? Dang. Hmm. That's weird. It's on a ball joint, but the joint does not turn. Like it the joint is not gonna turn. It'll do this and it'll go like that. It's really, really stiff, but it just won't turn, so yeah, if I keep trying to use those pliers, I'm just gonna break it. So I'm going to go on a little short rant right here, and this is a big problem I've been having with these Build-A-Figures, especially on the the Thor Build-A-Figure and Odin Sun Build-A-Figure, is that they're not making these legs fit correctly. They always pop out on me. The arms never pop out. Those always fit in freaking fantastic, but the legs, they just, they need to make them more like this so that they stay in there. Because they keep, they fall off pretty easily. That one fell off too easily. And the last piece is the head. Boom, 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 boom. So that's pretty cool. I'm really happy to have this. This looks freaking fantastic. It does look a little bit on the cheap side. It would have been nice if they highlighted the details a little bit with some different shades of red. Or maybe added some shading to this gold here. Or just some just shading it all to the red or to the gold would look nice. But it looks kind of cheap otherwise, but it's pretty freaking big. I like it a lot. I'm not going to complain too much. And again, it just would have been nice if they had some detail. It's just a little bit too flat. That would be my complaint in the overall paint. I'm not seeing any huge paint mishaps or anything like that. There is a little one right here. Wow, nothing wants to zoom. Zoom, mother ever. A little bit of a paint mishap right there. But overall... Not too many paint mishaps. I'm actually, it's the only one I'm really, really noticing. Look in the back here, his little thrusters. It looks like something might actually fit there. I don't know. Look throughout. Looks pretty dang cool. Hulkbuster is nine and a half inches tall. Definitely a good scale because I could see Iron Man fitting into there this whole body even with his armor on so that's a great scale it goes together well with the other Marvel Legends we'll get into articulation his head can go down that much up that much looks a little weird if you're doing that I think it's natural state is more somewhere on there kinda of tucked in not looking like he has a chin as you saw earlier when I was building it I had quite a few problems with this diaphragm joint here he doesn't really turn and I'm scared if I do it too much I'm gonna break that metal not metal. <laughs> if I, I'm afraid if I turn it too much, I'm going to break that plastic little post in there you saw earlier. Um, it will kind of go. It will do this. No problems. 
will tilt backwards and forwards it just won't turn which is kind of disappointing arms will go up that high we'll get a 360 out of them you got a giant single jointed elbow joint here wrists do have articulation the hinge will go in but of course it won't go out because of this uh, giant gauntlet on his giant gauntlet giant gauntlet yeah giant gauntlet on him and then there's not going to get any twist out of it because of the gauntlet either his legs will go up that high which is pretty freaking high I don't think you'll ever need them to go that high they'll go back that far double jointed knee and then you've got a little bit of an ankle rocker there it goes a little bit front and back and that's actually really good articulation that's more articulation than we get out of these freaking figures so that's really good kudos to that Hasbro so overall this is a really freaking cool build a figure I'm ecstatic to have it Iron Man's so happy his head keeps trying to pop off here uh, articulation's great other than that crappy diaphragm joint that we got going on here you kinda just have to work with it there goes Iron Man's head again fell on the floor I'm not gonna go find it I'm gonna talk articulation was good impressively or uh, unexpectedly it was pretty good I thought it would be a lot less articulation than that I was wrong before about saying this is the biggest build a figure has was ever done because if you include like the older like thing thing foom and stuff I'm pretty sure those were made by Hasbro I could be wrong but this is definitely the biggest build a figure Hasbro's come out with with the new Marvel Legends and the Infinite series and stuff like that uh, they haven't built anything this big since they started again about like five years ago or so paint apps came out pretty well I just wish they would have added some shading to bring out the detail because it looks kind of cheap without it not bad though um, but overall I definitely recommend this Hulkbuster I definitely recommend collecting all the parts and getting off eBay or getting all the figures whatever you can do uh, check out Big Bad Toy Store because I know they're selling this and you can buy it there. They're either open or they're open for pre-orders. So either way, I know you can get it from there. Anyways, just thanks for watching my review. I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the other figures I did to build this Hulkbuster. And other than that, have a good day. Peace out.